ready to ban. <laughs> I'm ready to go. You should be. Um, do the thing this way. Hey. Yeah, that works good. Alright. There we go. Hey, we're live on Twitch. Look at that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> imagine that guy. Uh, oh, God. Hello, everyone. We're here for more Curse of Strahd to, to hopefully not have a TPK. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> hey, if my players aren't nervous at the beginning, am I even DMing? Come on. Um, Look, after today, I'm fine. We're good. <laughs> We're Gucci. We're Gucci. We'll find out. Because we pick up with our party... Uh, I have to kill a dead person now, so we're fine. <laughs> um, where we last left off, uh, the party was shown the the stairs that lead to the basement. Uh, it is a spiral staircase that's almost completely choked with uh, not only dust but cobwebs. Like that shit's thick cobwebs. Um, that we're dealing with here. Um, all right. So, uh, who's going down first, real quick? I believe I was in front. Uh, I was. I was leading the way. Oh, that's what it was. I was in second. Gotcha. Yep. And I think I was in third. Right. Big, big, strong lady powers. <laughs> that's Activate. right. Um, and then Shane, you said you wanted. Shane is at the group. back. Shane is at the back of the group. Um. I would like to be as middle as humanly possible. Uh, no, but you can do as middle We're as not satyrly possible. I will accept this. <laughs> Dane's <laughs> uh, gonna go back over to that mark. wooden trunk. Open that wooden trunk back up. Okay. And uh, that that red sash he's wearing around his waist, he's gonna untie that. And uh, he's gonna look at the skeleton of the nursemaid that was unceremoniously discarded in this chest. He's going to tell her, I am so sorry, you did not ask for any of this. She did the best she could, and now we're going to go do the best that we can. He's going to paint her bones in the sash and bring them with him. Okay. So we just have three dead bodies just casually yeah, hanging just carry around, around dead bodies in a hot house. Like, as you do. <laughs> well, I mean, let's be honest. They're all victims of the same shenanigans going on in this house. I mean, you're not all wrong, deserve, but also just casually way. war crimes. <laughs> the war crimes already happened. We're just the janitors. Mm. Oh, my We're God. the crime, crime scene cleanup crew of fantasy it's world. The D&D CSI. If adventuring never works out for you, you could always pick up a new job. <laughs> okay. I'll be the cleaning crew. Move you guys uh, uh, to the new map. Um, as you make your way down the stairs, uh, Ira, um, real quick, I would like you to make a uh, perception check. All right. One second. I don't even have my character sheet pulled up. Wow. <gasps> Good job, Liz. How oh. dare Damn. you? Look. Are you look. even real? I have D and D before this. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's All right. You said perception. <laughs> you said perception. Yes, please. All right. Mm, which one? Said? Damn it, Jim. What about one Fifteen. 
15. Okay. Um, you are just able to avoid the wrong steps. Uh, as you put your foot down on, n not any in a row, but like a, there's a couple that creak extra loud and, and give you that feeling of, uh-oh, uh, and you successfully like, hey guys, avoid this step right here. Uh, yeah. And you're able to uh, uh, save the party from completely and totally rolling down this entire spiral staircase. So congratulations. <laughs> Shane also, because Shane's at the back of the group and no one can see him, he has shrunk himself from five foot seven down to four foot seven, just to not hit the. But exactly the same, but yeah. a foot shorter. Uh, uh, <laughs> speaking of which, Ira, as you're doing this, you are like. I'm crouching. That is I like saw you go in there and as like skinny as you can while going. Think small. Think small. Think small thoughts. Think, Think small thoughts. <laughs> Either um, pencil. But eventually you find your way down to the basement. Oh. I see Lily. Um, what you see uh, uh, in front of you guys uh, are crypts. Um, Avi, we'll, we'll start with you just because you're, you're kind of right there. Um, the ones that you kind of are able to step in right there, uh, y you see... Uh, several crypts have been hewn from the earth. Each crypt is sealed with a stone slab. Um, the one that you stepped into, there is a blank stone slab uh, meant to seal the crypt uh, against the nearby wall. Uh, and it is currently empty. Can I uh, cast light on like a sconce or something in here? <laughs> yeah. That's the um, one thing she can do. <laughs> so casting wise. And <laughs> she's gonna fucking do it. Excellent. Hey Draven, if these are crypts, does that make us bloods? I have no idea what that reference even means. <laughs> sure, drunkard. <laughs> is that is that a vampire joke? Is that a vampire oh joke? Jeez, man. <laughs> um Uh the stone slab uh, below here, the slower one, does have a name um, etched into it. This name, uh, which I gave the wrong name for the baby last stream, by the way. V Varen? Yeah, Varen. I, I said Varen. It's Walter. I don't know where I got Varen. Um, this is just a wildly language. different name. My that is guy. completely wait, different. Wait, 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 wait. A V and a W are just the same letter. See, the W just is two. Yeah, it's just two V's, a V's mating. That's v all. Is a w uh, but the rest is of the name is... cannot be accounted for. <laughs> listen, Meg. It's Barovian. <laughs> Baron is Barovian for Walter. Act <laughs> okay, so his name is actually Walter, but... They felt like it was too much of an old man name for the baby. Yes, yeah, so they so gave him a nickname. He goes by his middle name. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lissa. There we go. <laughs> this is what we get for having two DMs. Um. Um. Yes. Uh, so that one has Walter's name uh, inscribed in it. It is also. Uh, I know we have to find the baby corpse. Ira, as you uh, uh, make your way <laughs> into this one to the right here, uh, the one above, the top one, that has a name uh, that is etched with Gustav Thirst. Uh, it is sealed. The lower one is Elizabeth Thirst, also sealed. Um, Draven, you, uh, uh, looking into the one across from her, 
that one is... Uh, is our Fog of War taking into account that I cast light on a sconce? Yes. Okay. Mm. It, it's a very narrow passageway that you guys are in. That's fair. Uh, that's why it's so okay. narrow. All I see is a water lady. Um... Oh, yeah. oh that's because you're lady? you're you're back here, dude. Here you go. <laughs> there, you see more. <laughs> it's I uh, see. Oh, there you go. Uh, Draven, you look in and you see names etched in Roosevelta and Thornbolt Durst. Um, they are uh, uh both sealed. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Would you like me to shoot the stones? <laughs> <laughs> Just the stones, not the coffins. Uh, Shane, uh, I'll remind you, the northern one here has no name etched into the stone. Of course it has no name. Why do the people who take care of the people never get recognized? Edge past Avi here. Mm -hmm. I am. That's an, that's an open stone right there? Mm -hmm. The one up here. Uh, yeah. It is open, and then the one below is also open, but this one has Walter's name. The other one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put nurse lady. I'm gonna name her Caroline. I'm gonna put her down. Okay. Yeah. Are you, you place... putting her in the empty coffin? This I don't one, even think there's a uh, coffin. There is no coffin. Uh, they didn't even give oh, her a goddamn coffin. Name. But uh, you are able to uh, lay her to rest. Um. As you do this, um, all of you here above you just creaking and cracking of the house. Infernal, I say, you welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, is it? Is there even words for you're welcome in Infernal? Is it like Dothraki? <laughs> There's yeah. probably it's, not. Uh, it would directly translate to get fucked, but yeah, it true. is uh, used as, you're welcome. Oh, fair enough, it's fair enough. It's the intonation. <laughs> uh, the Ira, you're the one with the kids. Um, however... That makes me sound so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one with the kids. Uh, just got a couple of kids' bodies in your backpack, you know. They're just, the, yeah. the usual. Yeah, just a couple or of what's bodies. left of them. You know, what's a barbarian without some bodies? Um, <laughs> Wrong you body. didn't even kill those. You're just carrying around other people's victims. <laughs> um, but the I the crypts the are heart, sealed. Uh, if you would like to try and open them. Uh, okay. Then I... I can barely hear you. I don't know why. Can I do a perception check to, for traps? Wow, say that five times. Perception check for traps. We're having a hard time traps. hearing you. I'm not going to try it once. Zach? There it goes. Mm -hmm. That's better. That was a lot better. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll, roll uh, investigation is what it would be for traps. Trap. A trapception trap for scrubs. Thirty twenty. Okay. Um. You see no traps, uh, uh, set along the sides, or anything uh, around these crypts. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to open the crypt so I can put the kids in the crypt. All right. Give me a strength check. Uh, Draven, you are able to assist if you wanted to, and then you have advantage. Sure, five will help her. You said I have advantage? 
Yes. <laughs> need some more help. I can't do it. What you need is more? so funny? This is not Ira. This, that was an out of character laugh. I'm... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> What's okay. Funny? I heard a laugh. What was that? It was so weird. So one of these is a nat twenty, the other is a two. <laughs> so <almost> fair enough. <laughs> so Jeez. between the two of you, uh, with, with it being a nat twenty, I won't make your roll for the other one. Between the two of you, <laughs> you are able to get both uh, uh, crypts open inside our uh, um, coffins, um, not child sized. Uh, you'd assume they. When they made these crypts, they were probably hoping those kids would have lived longer. Uh, uh, wow, dark way to put that, Dustin. Good job. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's uh, really the only. Were they the really? Uh, <laughs> you are able to place uh, each child uh, down. As you do, uh, I would like uh, a religion check. From you and Draven. That's, that's better than I thought. Seventeen. Seventeen and fourteen for. Okay. As you, you place them, um, the creaking of the house that, that continued uh, ever since uh, Shane placed the nursemaid down noticeably lessens. And the two of you, uh, actually, I would say all of you, because this is a very confi confined space, um, all of you feel lighter. Like, you, you, you wouldn't have noticed, um, um, noticed it before, but there was a weight on all of your chests that just lifts as you place the bodies. Um, for a few moments, standing in the hallway right here, you see both Rose and Thorn standing. And for the first time, you see genuine smiles on their faces as they disappear. Eyes. As they disappear, or as, as this is happening, I would like to just very quietly uh, say a little prayer to try and help them pass smoothly. Okay. Avi is doing the same holding her necklace mm -hmm. of the Raven Queen. Is relieved that everyone else saw that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You you do notice that everyone else also saw that. You're like, oh, whew, good, awesome, yeah. ah, awesome, cool. But you know, <laughs> I feel a little more sober. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at this point, which direction do you guys uh, uh, wish to go? South, north? Draven's going south. Gotcha. I, I you see tables Draven. in both directions. Mm -hmm. There's like a, a stairway down this way, Shane. At um, this point, I do not think we should split the party. All right. uh, Draven. I will follow wherever Lily goes. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, I agree with this assessment. We should not split the party. Totally do it. Absolutely. Saying this too, Avi is going to grab Shane's collar and pull him with her. <laughs> Shane starts heading the towards box. the stairs. <laughs> and goes, what? I'm like, I heard, all I heard was split the party. Look, I'm not all the way sober. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just he said, I feel more sober, not I up. am sober. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Probably just so, gonna look at Shane and be like, if we here, make it out of this, you and I are having a conversation. 
this room contains a plain wooden table flanked by long benches. Uh, moldy bones lie strewn through the dirt floor. Uh, it seems to be like the remains of a banquet. Uh, in the middle of the south wall is a darkened alcove. Uh, and from the smell of it, uh, it seems to be like a, 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 a trash. Um, however, uh, dr nope, drape one, uh, Vive, as you step in here, uh, with your passive perception, you would notice, you, you think you might have seen something move in that corner. You're not sure. In which corner? In the darkened alcove over here. I uh, um, I look around to the people I am with, uh, making sure that uh, somebody has a hand on chain, because I do not trust what he is about to do. I have um, my hand on my other shoulder. <laughs> uh, before I tell uh, people, do. Be very careful. We do not appear to be alone. Should we go the other way? There's another table around the other corner. <laughs> um, Draven. I guess so. Uh, actually, you and Ira would notice, um, after kind of looking around, those moldy bones, you... It doesn't take long for you to recognize them as humanoid bones. Do they look like they've been not on? I was gonna get in a defensive position. Actually, um, the two of you, uh, real quick, uh, medicine checks. Uh, Vibe, you're in here right now, you can as well. Jane is readying to summon his patch weapon. Fair enough. I don't wanna oh, stab anybody. Oh, 20. Really Good job. Uh, that was almost good, and then ended up being a 10. All right. Uh, yeah, mine was a 15. Draven, you would notice then. Um, the gnawing, the teeth marks on the bones are also humanoid. <laughs> Seems this... Oh. Gul uh, group or possibly cult that the Durst family was part of or created uh, took part in some cannibalism. I think they ate Baby, themselves. The other white meat. Oh my god. <laughs> the other. Are any of the bones baby sized? No. <laughs> Thank you. Give us one thing. No. Um, walking through this room, um, probably, uh, Ira and Lily, both of you roll a d20. Uh, just, just d20. Wake up! I don't like it. I, I, tr I as Eight. I'm being pushed and I'm pu pulled by the lapel with my, um, crossbow, I'm just nudging at the bench. Right there. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, just just D twenty. Eighteen. Okay, uh, Lily. Um, you come walking through. Um, as you step there. Oh, fuck! I would get a natural twenty on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I apologize. I apologize. Um, Can we do a citizen's yeah. arrest on his dice. Uh, Can't you explain? He's a digital <laughs> dice, so I think we should do the citizen's arrest on the coder. Nope, I love my dice too much. <laughs> I love the sound of them rolling too much. Um, Same. Should I have this open already? Yoink. Um, so, uh, uh, it does hit. Uh, do, 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 do. Road faster, oh. roll 20. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, 
you take uh four points of damage. Uh and just watch as she gets yeeted. As that happens. Uh does a fourteen hit? Uh no. Okay. Uh as you step in front of that alcove, two tentacle like appendages wrap around you and pull you towards it, and for at the last second you look over and you see some sort of beak or some mouth open and try to bite you, uh, and you're able to, to get your staff like shoved in its mouth good enough that it, it can't quite bite you. Um, I need initiative from everybody, please. Vive was right. Vive was right. <laughs> I told you we should have gone the other direction. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Wow, roll 20 going slow right now. I would like to uh, vigilant blessing uh, Genma so you get um, advantage on initiative. Speaking of which, <laughs> he rolled good last night. He did. Yeah, good I, right now. I think I, I, you, think I think I took Genma's curse for him. <laughs> Just got a three, so I think. <laughs> hey, I, think... I got a four. I was gonna say you got you got the four because you were in front of me yanking me behind oh. you and I got the three because I'm just like trying to go the other way. <laughs> oh. Uh, I I got it. Okay. Uh, Vive. Uh, I got the sixteen. Sixteen. Shane. Three. Three. Thirty-three. Uh, Lily. Five. Five. Oof. Rough, buddy. Uh, Avi. Four. Oh, God. Get him out now, guys. Uh, Ira. How was the barbarian the fastest? To be fair, you were right there in front of Lily, and that happened. Yeah. Still. So, thematically, it makes this sense. Is like, this is technically the second time it's happened already. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but the last you... time it also attacked you. So also true. Yeah. Uh, also true. Uh, you are also thematically this works That's because what? I'm trying to deal with Shane and he's trying to deal with me, yeah. and we're like, oh, what? Yeah, I, I love when the yeah. dice like just go with the story. Yeah, you're uh, also like of celestial descent. <laughs> what did you get, Ira? Uh, I got a twenty-two. Twenty-two? Ooh. Fuck yeah. That's why I was like. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I think last time it was like 21. Well, uh, uh, right in front of you, this happens. Uh, um, and you can kind of see in that corner some sort of monster. Uh, I'm going to make the token larger so you guys can see it. Oh, uh. I'm going to call him Beaky. There you go. That's what of it looks like. I do not like that it looks like uh, he is about to eat me at this moment. <laughs> uh, there, okay. there are like there are like four tentacles around this beak-like mouth. Um, two of the tentacles wrapping around Lily and, and trying to pull it into its mouth. Why do we have to drink? Icky, no. <laughs> anyway, um, so Ira is. You, you guys are going to be Ira. The trident just strike out um, while activating rage. You're getting real quiet again. Yeah, your mic is. That was my voice, not the mic. Oh, fair enough. My voice. Um, so I'm raging. Uh, I think it is the mic because I can't hear you at all. You're going in and out. Yeah. Check. That's, yeah. A little. Kind of better. Let me... Better? A little. <sighs> You're fine. Okay. Uh, better? 
Yes, no, maybe so. A little bit. I can hardly hear you, but I'm on the other side of the room. Ha! <laughs> Here, let what me... about this? That's better. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, like I said, when I... Oh, group hydrate. Fuck! When I did things... All I have it... is whiskey again. <laughs> really? That's my gig, sir. Me too. Cheers, bitches. <laughs> um... I can say, anyway... I'm gonna hit with this thing. Stabby, stabby. That, that, that's a... Let me read how my rage works real quick. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a one. Mm -hmm. No, be no it's not. Okay. Oof. <laughs> uh, I duck. So it's it's a twelve, so it's probably not gonna hit. Uh a twelve. Click click. Does miss. Uh so you try okay. you try to stab forward, but at the last second uh uh it moves Lily and shifts Lily and you're too afraid that you're gonna hit Lily, so you kinda just don't commit all the way. Um but while this is happening, because there's the rage, my uh, storm aura activates. Yes. Which Ooh. Been forever since um, I've dealt with a storm cleric, or storm storm barbarian. <laughs> uh, you gain barbarian. a tempted aura effect when you start your rage, and as a bonus action, where to go? Features and traits, maybe. For the should full... be under features and traits, yeah. Uh, when this effect is activated, each creature of your choice in your aura gains two temporary hit points. So Lily gets. Two temporary hit points because it's ten feet for a. Uh, then I think um, is... both Vive, yep, Vive and Abby also. Get okay, two then they also get it. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, as that happens, Vive, it's now you. Okay. So, um, how much of this thing can I see uh, around Lily? Probably enough for for some sort of attack. I'll get a nap um, one, please. <laughs> but, but you're really... Yeah. Um, yeah, don't get a nap one. Oh, no, another group hydrate. I'm, okay. Um, I only water. have whiskey. I mean, what? Uh, but... I'm going to um, a pee break soon. Right? I'm going to need to go I would, get something. I uh, would like to go forward to Lily and try to... Uh, Effectively pull her out of the way. Okay. Uh, make Rip. a athletics check. I will say, uh, Lily, if you want to use your reaction, uh, you can give him a plus two. When, not that you're going to need to. That Meg, is a nat 20. That is a nat 20. <laughs> Cheers, Lily is out of the way. <laughs> fair, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Lily's nice. just going. Five, five. I'm okay. I'm okay. I got this. It, whoa. Uh, okay. You, you are. I am strong. Holy, okay. Just, just go up there and just bear hug. Just up and uh, out. Which, um, uh, to be fair, um, that is a twenty-three. Uh, perfectly enough. <laughs> um, it, he he pulled you out of there. Uh, and kind of like drags you kind of onto the bench. Uh, back there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I would say it doesn't even get an attack of opportunity with that. That was, that was, it kind of just, <laughs> it tries to hold on and it so easily gets his, his tentacles like just removed that it's kind of like, the fuck just happened? Uh, <laughs> I had food um, and now I don't have food. What the fuck? Uh, so that's, okay, that's, that's, that's your that's action. Huh? Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the casting time is a, a bonus action, which is amazing. So I would like to cast a spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to make it appear uh, as if it is um, a... It is a mace, but... Uh, it kind of like has that thing where 
uh, if you look at it too long, there are like lines, like the, if it's like a really bright light, effectively, if you look at it too long, instead of like hurting you, it just kind of has those lines of like, why the fuck is my light striped? That is called a reaction to an astigmatism, and you should probably actually get your eyes checked if you have an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Iris I says as she aware. pulls out her glasses and like, just, just does the whole nerd thing, like, you know, that's called astigmatism and... and, and <laughs> You're just sort of a strategy. In the middle I of a rage, too. It just... makes driving at night difficult, <laughs> but we are okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that will uh, appear uh, in front of him. All right. Uh, I believe. When you cast a spell, you can make a melee spell attack on the creature. So. All right, go ahead. Let me. Uh, that is a... an eighteen to hit. So cool. Okay, so it's right there. Uh, eighteen does hit. Uh oh, and we're still on. We switch to here. Whoop. Now we can see the map a little better. Uh, as I nonchalantly shift all the names and no one notices and that is uh 10 <laughs> points of force damage 10 holy balls uh this thing is already that looked like it hurt like hell <laughs> um biggie um you see so yeah uh uh, uh it springs into an ex existence and as soon as it's fully formed it strikes down uh, and hits quite hard. Uh, Draven it is now your turn. Alright. Can I attack from right here? Uh, with oh from right there? Yeah you can. Okay. Take a swing with the long sword. Right. Um. Jeez. Sir. I need to knock on wood. I don't want my rolls to go. <laughs> <Yeah. away. laughs> this is amazing. Definitely hits. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, you didn't click the... You just clicked attack again, not damage. Oh. It's his next attack. Although, that attack would hit. <laughs> it's not registering the damage? Mm. Uh, just, just... Here, let me see if I can... Get it to go... There, right, 1d8 plus 3. There we go. Uh, so 9 points of damage. I tried to roll 2. I only rolled an 8, so I'll take the 9. Yeah, this thing is okay. looking kind of rough at this point. Um, and not too, too happy. Oh, um, no. As you kind of just run up uh, uh, and just stab straight in. Um, uh, is that your turn? Yes. All right. It is now the Grick's turn. By the way, it's a Grick. Draven. Keep what the going. fuck is a Grick? Does a 17 hit? No. It its tentacles then reach out to you because you're the one that fucking hurt it, um, and it is unable to get a purchase on you, uh, so it doesn't get its beak attack, uh, and it kind of like a. Uh, 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 Climbs up the wall a little bit Ooh. and tries to like Eight. get away uh, as much Eight. as it can. Um, Lily, it is now your turn. So, uh, in my mind, uh, Vive still has her in the bear hug and she has to like say, I'm fine, you can let me go. <laughs> 
She says let's go, I let go immediately. We don't we consent is everything. Very important. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> she's uh, just going to lift up her hand and she's going to produce flame at the creature. Uh, ooh, that is a 21 to hit. Yeah, definitely hits. <laughs> uh, four fire damage. Shit. Uh, it's barely hanging on. Uh, another one HP, I swear. Uh, that, that is my turn. Is it Avi, you want to take care of this one? Or do you want me to take it? Oh, I'll take care of it. Pleasure. Okay. I think you got him. Um, I guess Eldritch Blast, man. Fire away. There you go. The force away. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Two meters. Does, does Meet 11 yourself. hit? I fired uh, and then I missed. 11 and then I fired minutes. and then I missed. Fuck! Get it! I I had I'm a 12. Really, um, <laughs> Shane? <laughs> it's, 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 it's okay. Just a third level. It's okay. Uh, Hobby, no, there's like 16, like 16 people in here. It's okay. I move over here to get a clear sh clear shot between Lily and Draven. I've been waiting months to say this, but I cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Let me show you how to really... Hit the damn I thing! It's sp Spider-Man. That's 11 plus 6 is 17. I Spider-Man... Does hit. Don't worry about damage, because... Because... Lily was right. <laughs> I'm, the only one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. It's my Sorry. curse, I tell you. It's my curse. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Um, you, uh, this really uh, uh, loud, like, screeching, squealing noise. I'm not going to do it right now because I just drank a bunch of whiskey <laughs> and my throat can't do it. Um, <laughs> you hear that as it kind of just almost uh, uh, it melts into itself almost. Um, and it's now laying... Dead in the trash heap. Um, well, guys, I feel like that was excellent teamwork. Uh, as you say that, Shane, uh -huh. you hear uh, something uh, down the hallway just below you. Kalima. Kalima. Um, um, Actually, let it be known, I'm going to keep my spiritual weapon up for the full minute I have mm -hmm. it. Um, you, you hear... Guys, before we continue... Movement? Okay. Shuffling? Um, it's, it's hard to um, pinpoint exactly what you're hearing. Um, but it is coming from that hallway just down below here. Um, yeah. Before we continue, uh, I have three scrolls, three spells. Would we like to divvy those up? You sit here at the table, what, figure that out. What are the spells? So you use the have rest of your turn to sit down. Oh, we're still, we're still in initiative, buddy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I use the rest of my turn to sit down. <laughs> oh boy. You, you, I can't really move your token too well right now, but you're sitting down at the table there. Um, uh, I'm all for flavor, but this is this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So wait, okay, so really, I want one, to do two, this now. Well, it is. No, I don't. Uh, as you do that, give me one moment here. I have ten more feet of movement, but that ten feet was sitting down, or was that five? It, five. It, it's, it's fine. Then I will stand um, back up. All right. <laughs> as you hear the things move. Um, 
there's I, more. I, Ira. I sit down and I'm like, should we go through it? You know, we should not go through it. Ira, you, you notice Shane looking over down there as if he heard something. Uh, I'm going to still raging. Yeah, you are still raging. Go that direction. Go that direction. All right. With the the trident up. Um. Um. And I have danger sense, if need be. 10, 15, 20 feet of movement to get you there. Twenty five, right there. Uh, you look oh, down. Oh, what the fuck are those? That. <laughs> Uh, uh, you look down and you see this this grotesque uh, um, zombie-like being. Um, it's it's mouth almost predator style, kind of open. I am as soon as I see this fucking thing, as soon as I see this goddamn thing, Ira is going to. At, whoa! I did not mean to maximize that. She is going to activate her necrotic shroud. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna hopefully scare these motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, so they need to make a charisma saving throw DC 13. So any one of them that can see you, right? Uh, it's... it's within 10 feet of me. Okay. So and not to put a damper on the party, but it's all within 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah, so Shane would have to as well. Um, charisma save? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, one, my charisma's plus four. Uh, uh, one got a natural 20. Uh, the other got a lot of three. Uh, <laughs> okay, so as, uh, as Ira does this, you guys just see it like the the effect of the tundra that's around her just intensifies like there's there's a blizzard around and you guys see these spectral wings coming out of her back and uh it looks as if she's shrouded in smoke love it that looks a lot like my weapon uh all right uh you have a bonus action you want to do uh, or, oh, you don't have any bonus action attacks yet, do you? Yeah, because um, I'm still in the rage. Yeah. Um. Okay, the one that did not uh, get afraid steps forward. Um. Please don't hit. I need. To, I might need to change dice. That was a natural nineteen. That hits. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Helps to. Helps to have the stat block that I need open. Thankfully, I have resistance to necrotic damage. <laughs> that is true. Oh, not that. Uh. Oh my god! Roll twenty. Y'all, you're pissing me off, bro. There it goes. And now we wait for it to load. Wow, what the fuck? I mean, it's probably shambling pretty slowly. True. Um, it, it shambles <sighs> slowly towards you. Um, I'm it, behind it like... <sighs> it reaches its claws forward, goes for an attack, and it hits. I need a... Constitution saving throw from Hey, I'm good you. at those. Um, Twenty-three. You definitely <laughs> succeed. Um, so the bad thing like I doesn't said, hey, happen. Hey, I'm good at those. Uh, the bad thing doesn't happen. You would take oh my God. Uh, uh, eight points damage, but you're raging, so it's four. Um, Draven, Woo! it is now your turn. Uh, uh, you hear and feel more than see the effects of Ira's, uh, uh, new form. Um, 
I'll say if you get right here, mm. you could probably attack that one. Uh, I'll give it plus two to AC, though. Okay. Then... I'm going to switch over to my mace. All right. Round the corner mace. Got it. <laughs> Come here. Get over here. Stop swinging around the corner. <laughs> 17 Hopefully still hits. Hopefully not hitting Ira. Awesome. Nope. Uh, 17 still hits. Go ahead and... Holy cow. I don't know why I won't roll my damage. I think my screen's messed up. Maybe. Here, I, I, I can do the damage here. Let me click that. Seven points. <laughs> uh, you hear, like, a squelching noise. Um, Ira, you get a full view. Uh, uh, as, as the mace kind of hits the chest and, uh, like, peels down the, the peck uh, of this thing. <laughs> um, also, the smell is... Horrible. Um, that wasn't me, guys. I promise. Danger will run into danger. No. Um, are you staying right there, or? Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna back out. All right. Uh, uh, it's not gonna take an attack of opportunity. Uh, Vive, you're up. You can move your... Okay, so can I move thing? down to a better, um, vantage point? Well, I just want to... Well, no, actually, I can... Through the fog of shit, I can see one of them. So I would like to... How far can I move this thing? 20 feet. That's only 10 feet right here to move it. Fantastic. So I would like um, to move it. And if it is possible yeah. to boink it, I would like to boink it. Same thing. I'll give it plus two to AC. Bonk. Bonk it, not boink it. <laughs> it's very different meaning. Yes. What's the I, I know ramen is unusual to you, but here. it's not to I am totally good with I am boink. not from here. Uh, by the way, that is a uh, that is a 15 to hit. 15 does it's still a Feywild that. thing. <laughs> it's a Feywild thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry it's about it. It's a Feywild thing. Is my, Lost is in translation. Well. Sylvan the common is very difficult. You don't understand. This is not my natural language. I am doing my best. <laughs> that is 11 points of force damage. You guys, when... Uh... Oh, who did we lose? Uh, um, yeah, anyway. We Lily. Yeah. There we go. Yes. I was like, we lost someone. When Ira hears bonk instead of bonk, she's still <laughs> mid rage, but she's trying so hard not to laugh. I do not know what you mean. It is I must boink it. Yes, that is what we do. We we take the spiritual weapon and we boink it. And yes, one hundred percent. You are correct. <laughs> no That's how I do. Correct him. Lily <laughs> is red. red. Lily is blushing red. Just so you know. <laughs> Look, she has had to deal with me boinking things for so long. It is not, uh, <laughs> it is not uncommon to her. No. <laughs> you know, this is the best lost in translation. I provide so I do much not context. understand. What is the problem? <laughs> this, this is Let's even cracking please. up, Avi. Like, I'll explain it to you later. Just kill it now. <laughs> okay. Well, I I boink it. <laughs> <laughs> you bonked that Bonk thing so hard. Go ahead and do the damage. <laughs> it is 11 points of damage. Gotcha. Oh, you boinked it so good. <gasps> 11 oh, points. Yeah. What a <laughs> boink. Uh, this this thing. Boink. Uh, um, and then for. Yes, this please, is, please, it, I'm sorry. You, you described what it looked like, and, and my brain is blanking. Astigmatism. What, what oh, is it's it? trying to boink it. Oh, it is a mace uh, with astigmatism. <laughs> So, so the mace, uh, um, oddly enough, the mace swings, and Ira, it goes, it goes through you painlessly. Uh, in fact, you, you, you feel kind of warm when it does that. It's a, it's a good feeling.
feeling. She she does um, like this because like she's and... used to the cold because Tundra. Um, <laughs> but but like like a, like a happy warm almost. Um, and then the the mace just slams directly into the chest of this thing, and you hear <laughs> as she's a all of the ASMR. ribs just cave in. I hate to break it to you, but she does not feel happy warm most days. <laughs> these days. I read that. I read that is a classic Feywild boinking. Yes, boinks so good. Um. <laughs> so is it? So did I boink it to death or no? It is still standing. <laughs> glory, okay. glory! But, what a hell of a way to but die! But literally, you <laughs> okay. you you so don't see this. Like uh, but Ira, right in front, the, its ribs are literally like falling out of that spot that that uh, uh, Draven opened. It's it's the pieces of its ribs are just falling out at this point. Ira's just like holding her breath right now. Cause... Oh yeah, okay. it, it's not so helping since, the smell. Um, <laughs> the fog of war, uh, it is the only one I can see, and that mm -hmm. was my bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to. Um... Uh, I am going to uh, Sacred Flame it, because that shit is a cantrip. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Sacred Flame is also... Oh, is it an action? Yeah, Sacred it's Flame a, is an action, isn't it? Sacred Flame is an action. Yes. Uh, to um, Spiritual Weapon is a bonus action. Sacred Dex... Flame is a cantrip. Um, Dex a... Sacred Flame is a nope. Dexterity save it throw 14. Roll, roll that damage. That's definitely not going to be a 14. <sighs> um, that is 7 points of damage. Uh, that'll that'll do it. Uh, you 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 hit it with the mace, and you see kind of through the corner. It's still standing. And you're like, "Fuck this thing!" and release uh, like a, a surge of power. Um, Ira, you just watch this this radiant flame burst from its chest and burn, singe and, and toast this thing to near ash. At this point, I go, oh, good. This is what it should be like when you boink. And then <laughs> I'm just going to kind of take one, uh, one. No, I'm going to actually stay where I am. And that's going to be the end of my turn. I lied. Gotcha. I feel like the more sober Shane gets, the more drunk everyone else is going to get. <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's about... what it's going to feel like. Yeah, it's all about balance. I am perfectly oh. sober, my friend. I do not understand this confusion. Um, I've been chasing that. <laughs> That's After your turn, come on, roll twenty. Catch up to me here. Uh, this one moves forward, out from this corner. Right. Um, does it have to make the save when it comes within ten feet of you, or is that just when you activate it, Ira? I think it's when just when you activate it. I think it, it's check. when I just activate it, but let me double check. It's the one time you don't check. Uh... Nope, uh, causing all within 10 feet to make charisma saving throw be frightened until the end of your next turn. This lasts for one. It's still not the end of my next turn, so it's still going. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, well then, um, save. Fucking shit. That's natural 20. That was with a different dice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not now. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, that's only a 14 to hit. And that's gonna miss, yo. Um, so it yes. comes cr comes around the corner uh, and just takes a swipe. Um, doesn't somehow in these tiny ass hallways, Ira is missed. <laughs> You're more or less like getting up against the wall, like fucking stop. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> alone. Um, yeah. <laughs> me alone, guys. Oh my god. Gosh. Uh, this one. Reaches is its arm around the corner. Fucking same roll. Just starts reaching for you, and you're like, Bro! Uh, <laughs> uh, Ew, you smell! Get away! Uh, and this one can't quite reach you, so he, he gets right there. Um, Lily, it is your turn, friend. Uh, am I able to see... Or any, am I able to get a line of shot on anybody from where I am? From where you are, if you can see one of the enemy, like you're seeing what your character would see. Right. So I'm just wondering if I could one, get a line. Of, can see it. 
Would you call that a clear line of shot or? I, I would do the same as what I've been doing. Just add plus two to AC. Okay. And yeah. Um. I'm, I'm going to save that. Uh, I'm just going to use Produce Flame again and aim at the one that's uh, right below our Barbarian. Uh, that's a nat 20. <laughs> you <Yes, it is. laughs> damage. Five, five, five's beefiness inspired you. Look. Uh, and Look. max damage for 16 uh, fire shit. damage. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Ira yeah. is just big strong lady who is bait at the moment, apparently. <laughs> uh, it's about to get a little warm and probably a, a heck of a lot more stinky. Uh, I mean, oh. I mean, this thing is Sorry. nearly ashes itself already. It is not okay. <laughs> By it any stretch okay. of the word. Um... <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Nimue, I think your your boyfriend's in the chat there. I want everyone to know that, uh, uh, what I have to live with hearing this game happen from the other room from what these two are saying. 10 out of 10 comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he heard the whole blank of... conversation just from the two of um, us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and real quick, I, I think I forgot to mention, uh, at the beginning here. I, I mentioned it to the players. I think I forgot to mention at the beginning of the stream here. Uh, everything I'm getting gifted tonight is going to the GoFundMe that uh, Papa Lycan uh, has going on uh, for his friend. So uh, uh, whoever just donated the 15, that that is what that's about to go for. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Uh, also, any like bits or anything that I get donated tonight is also going uh, to that straight or er, to the fundraiser. For, for those who are unfamiliar, uh, Papa Lycan is one of our D and D. Uh, friends in the community um one of his friends uh died in childbirth the daughter survived the husband is now left alone with an infant who is still in the hospital mm -hmm. um so if so you that... are able to without financially in like hurting yourself it would be very appreciated mm -hmm. um or there's also the link directly for the gofundme as well yes so the we link the, the gofundme link that's been going through the chat god i did forget to mention this at the beginning <laughs> fucking balls um the the link to the gofundme is also going there if you just wanted to d donate directly to the gofundme uh yourselves which by the way that thing has been doing so fucking well uh the original goal was only ten thousand uh, dollars it's at thirty one thousand three hundred and fifty seven now yeah so, uh, and after this stream, it's going to be even more because, like I said, whatever, uh, uh, whatever it donates, uh, whatever I get donated tonight will be uh, sent there either tonight or tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah. I, anyway, now that my brain caught up to the fucking stream, uh, so Lily burns the fucking shit out of this thing. Um,. <laughs> It's barely hanging on. Uh, did you have a I bonus action? I burnt Lily? hair. Yeah, it, it's it's not cool. Uh, uh, also, I didn't I didn't uh, uh, really describe uh, what this thing, uh, what these things are really looking like. Um, they, they they are wearing these tattered black robes, um, almost look uniform ish. Um, oh. it, it, they are disgusting looking and tattered, but they exist. Um, ah, uh, yes, cult members or their sacrifice. I have a feeling you sons of bitches are responsible uh, for the people we had to bring down here. Lily, uh, is that the end of your turn then? Yes, it is. Gotcha. Uh, Avi, you are up. Sorry, I was grabbing snacks. <laughs> you good. Okay, so I will move down closer to where all of this chaos is happening. Okay. About right there, you can see that one that's like, kind of holding together a little bit. <laughs> yep, perfect, I'm and I'm gonna Eldritch Blast, so give me a second. Pointing at it, that mm -hmm. one, that one. <laughs> Blast away. Does an 18 hit? Yes. From poor Iris' perspective, there's just 
spells have been flinging past her the entire fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like up against the wall between the spellcasters and the zombies right now. So, so I'm gonna need this drawn, Ira, full necrotic <laughs> form, uh, like in the corner, go just going. Ah! <laughs> Off screen, incoming. An arm sticks around the corner, a mace goes by, then a spell. <laughs> then another spell. And then a bullet. <laughs> so uh, I uh, I do six points of damage with Eldritch Blast, and when it hits them, like, these black feathers just, like, explode from the point of impact. The, the feathers explode directly on the chest again, uh, uh, where you guys have apparently found these things are, are weak. Uh, 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 Ira, uh, since this one wasn't really incendiary and more force damage, uh, you're officially covered in some shit. You're probably gonna need a bath. Um, <laughs> the first one didn't cover you in anything because that thing was burnt to a crisp. Uh, but that one definitely it, it left an impression. Um, Ira just like. <laughs> flings the shit off of her and just, like, spits a feather out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> like... <laughs> oh my god. We need somebody to draw this scene so bad. Uh, Shane. Shane, you are up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. T. Ah! <laughs> so if I'm next to Ira, I can't see. Uh, I'm not going. No, but you you can move further forward. You can move through your your friend's tokens. Um, can't stop. Not on it. not you can't stop on it. So you could move right there. Right there. Oh, hello yeah. there. You kind of you kind of like. After all those spells, you look over, Ira's, like, shoved in the corner as small as she can be and, like, opens an eye, and you just come walking by, like, hey. Also, when, when she comes off of the of wall, uh, when she comes off the wall, she spits out a feather, and there is, like, a paint line of her body uh, 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 outlined. Wings and all. With, with, with wings outlined and all. Outlined in ichor. <laughs> yeah, yes. outlined in, in just disgusting ichor. Nice. I'm describing this as best I can because uh, you know yeah. what? I'm gonna need to clip this whole thing and send <laughs> it to to my buddy um, or Meg if you want to draw it. Uh, uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate you. I need I need this visual. I got in my you. Life. I already uh, um, outlined in my head. And I just oh, have to make beautiful! It happen now. Oh my god! I love this. I'm gonna so take much. a break yeah. from doing the uh, group. <laughs> It's a group portrait and uh, jump on over. <laughs> For this, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Shane, you are now standing in front of two of them. Uh, as I yeah. walked as I walked by Ira and I saw that feather pop out of her mouth, I caught it in the air and summoned <laughs> packed weapon All in right. that hand. I like it. And uh, I took a swing. Interestingly, the Fancy. shadows the shadows of the blade uh, uh, slightly resemble a feather. Yeah smoke from the necrotic wings and I take a slash the one below or to the right gotcha the right slash away plus plus six I believe it's not in my uh D&D mm -hmm. &D beyond sheet Two plus six. Oh, plus six is 18 yeah definitely hits and it's a great sword so it's 2d6 mm -hmm. plus four you're summoning a great sword version sweet yeah. It has hex weapon properties. This is a six and a four. It's ten plus four is fourteen. Fourteen? Shit. Uh, this thing is already looking pretty rough. Uh, uh, you come through. You you summon the blade. Uh, uh, the tip of it, like, slices through the roof a little bit, because it's not very uh, uh, large in here. Um, is it just the tip? Just the tip. Um, oh, that's just how you out. boink it. Uh, That's how exactly. we blink in the shadow you, you You cut down, and it goes down about this far, and now the shoulder is, like, hanging. Just... Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, it looks at you <laughs> and starts reaching for you. Um, is that your turn? Or you got a bonus action you want to do? Uh, let's do two, two, mm, I uh, can't do two weapon fighting with a great sword, right? No. No. Uh, it's but a two handed weapon. You, you do know you're, you're currently standing in the way of two enemies and you got a big old pissed off barbarian right behind you. If you want to risk it, you could take an attack of opportunity to like back up over here or something. That's totally up to you. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll squidge right here to the top of the stairs. Gotcha. This is a great idea. I'm uh, gonna stand first, back to the stairs. First attack definitely missed. That was a four. A fucking two. Jesus. I'm getting all those 20s and now fucking nothing. Uh, uh, slippery so fella. You, you just slip away as both of them uh, uh, claw at you. The second one, you kind of block with the blade a little bit. Um, Ira, it is now your turn to finally get revenge. All right. All these uh, which, one of the, which one of these fuckers looks the most this mangled? One. That one. Uh, so if you step forward, you see them both here. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, for fun, Draven, I'm going to put you down here just so... Just so people can kind of see a little bit what's That's going fine. on a little better. Um, but you are still up there. Um, Ira, yeah. They're both there. This one has that shoulder just kind of hanging off. Okay. I started that one. <laughs> um. <laughs> I opened it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I cut the first piece of tape. You can finish it. So Ira <laughs> just still with uh, the remnants of her uh, necrotic shroud steps forward and goes to hit this fucker with her trident. All right. Dude, the sound of your dice right there with the echo. Oh my God. No. no. That's a one. Natural one. Next save. Uh. Give give me a uh, uh, deck save. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's my dex. I've got advantage what? because of danger sense. Yes. That's good. <laughs> I'm dying. You got another natural one. You guys one. are going to die. Oh, I got a natural one and a two. <laughs> two. So, we'll take so the two. you stab forward. Um, interestingly, it does like pierce into this th this thing. Um, it, it it's pierced like an already damaged spot, and it doesn't seem to really do any damage. And you try to pull your trident out, it is stuck. It is stuck. Hold my shadow blade up to her and see. You want to try mine? <laughs> she lets go of it, uh, backs up a little bit, and pulls out her uh, hand axes from her back. Fair enough. From under her cloak. All right. Um. Are you stepping back for someone to get in there, or are you staying right there? Yes, she is stepping back to let the spellcasters come a little bit closer, because she's tired of being against the wall! Fair enough. Uh, do you want to go down the stairs behind Shane, or you want to go back where you were? Uh, down the stairs. Okay. Uh, first I love the attack. idea that our heads are at the same Fucking height now. Fucking shit, 14's <laughs> gonna miss. Second attack. 19 will hit. 19 will hit. Uh, constitution saving throw, please. Me? Yeah. You guys are dice jail. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, two that points is, of damage. Uh, the con save is a twenty-four. Yep, you're perfectly fine. Ooh. The obsidian dice did me well. <laughs> you said two points of damage. Two. Yeah, that that is happened. Um, did not roll. I think got on that damage. Draven, it be your turn, sir. Look at that. 
All of All a sudden, right. the agate and the uh, cat's eye aquamarine were like, Nah, you die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ma'am. I die tonight. You stay alive. So. I have my words prepared. Do I know that that space is open yeah. since I'm on the other side of the wall? Uh, uh, well, you you could move around 5, 10, 15 feet to right there and now okay, see. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, and then 20 feet, you are in range for fighting. I'm going to attack the one on the right. Yeah, it is fucked up. Uh, it currently also has a triton sticking out of it. Interesting. <laughs> Don't think that was his. Uh, re real quick, real quick. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shit. S oh, no. You go to swing and you're like, a fucking trident? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> and it just throws you off just enough. Uh, roll an insight check real quick. <laughs> I can't find. There it is. Insight eleven. Uh, it's above ten. Good enough. Uh, you you see it. You like pull. Like what the fuck? You turn around. You look at Ira. Ira doesn't look like she wants to talk about it. So uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> give a bonus action. <laughs> can you hand it back as a bonus? <laughs> yeah. Can I relinquish I, it from I, the beast? As a corpse? bonus action, I'll allow you to, to to pull that out. You just. Like, uh, sorry, sir. Oh. <laughs> my I... friend, my friend forgot an item. Just. Ira, I, I believe point, you're missing Ira this. Ira them. <laughs> Ira's kind of just glaring. She's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it just grabs it. There's so There's many holes. Uh, are you staying right there? Yes. Okay. Uh, Vive. Look, uh, Shane was joking about the rest of the party being more drunk. You jinxed me. <laughs> you did. You done fucking did. Uh, five, The ten, barbarian should be doing a fif shit ton of damage right now. I cannot hit to save my life. Fifteen feet so and would, you can be right there and you're... I, I would like to, to be there. And then okay. I would like to raise my uh, spiritual weapon uh, five feet off the ground. And to hover uh, directly above Draven. Okay. Um, and then, um, Ini, Mine, Mini, that one. So the one to, um, off to the side, not directly in front. Does that make sense? What I'm saying. The one that's more off to the to side. The right. Yeah. Got I it. would like to boink it. Boink away. Uh, group hydrate, by the way. <laughs> Drink the blood of um, your enemies. Small out. I mean, Cheers, queers. <laughs> I hope whiskey counts because that is what is here. That's what I've been drinking. <laughs> it does not count, but whatever. Your your liver <laughs> will meet tea, you later. So I'm on. That uh, that is an 18 to hit. Definitely hits. I should change it from group hydrate to group drink liquid. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that is uh, 12 liquid. points of damage. 12. That was a nice, satisfying pop when I took that. I should say that that is my max damage. T top of the head just gets... The, the entire head gets crushed down into the chest cavity. And it falls backwards. Uh, fantastic. Then I would like to sacred flame the other one. Uh, yeah! Ooh. Why does that sound like a great combination with boinking? All right. <laughs> oh, because uh, uh, sometimes fire can be fun. Fifteen. <laughs> that's the stay uh, version that's of an STD. Okay, no damage on that one. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, hey baby, baby, I want to boink you with my sacred flame. Uh, <laughs> speaking of boinking, this thing's gonna try and uh, uh, boink <laughs> Draven with its claws. Uh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Damn it, Meg. <sighs> Natural Ow. nineteen. What yep. the fuck? Five, that six, is seven is points of damage. Flame just a wild chlamydia. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so seven Hush, you. points of damage, and I need a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Karma. 
Oh. Sir. Big daddy. Sir. <laughs> you feel all of your muscles seize and you are paralyzed. Oh no. <laughs> You're lucky there's That's only one no. left. You're very, very lucky. Uh, oh shit. Lily, it is your turn. Um, five, yeah, 10, 15, 20. Uh, uh, it's 25 feet you could get right here and you can still see this thing here. Um, or you can stay back here and you can... I would say you can kind of see it well enough to get a spell off, I guess. But that's up to you. Actually, um, let's see. I guess I can't tell because uh, the HP is not really showing up for me. Uh, Raven's taking yeah, a couple of see, hits. You can is only okay? see your HP. Uh, right. When you take Does a look, look at okay? Draven, he looks like he's completely seized up. Uh, and he is bleeding across his chest. Uh, it completely frozen in place. Uh, well, we can fix one first. <laughs> Um, I'm going to just, uh, ca use my turn to cast, uh, Cure Wounds on Drake. Okay, yeah, you can reach him from there. Um, yeah. So you will get... Put an arm around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get eight points of healing. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, I will end my turn there. I'm going to be you, uh... honest here. In, uh, roll 20, my health is not correct. It's actually at 30, not 34. Oh, okay. I I Technically, I should be. At, should, I had eight points of uh, temp hit points. Oh, that's right. I, for, I forgot about the. the yeah. We're gonna nip on the. Before we left. Yep. Uh, so be aware of that. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you reach over and you uh, uh, kind of kind of rub his nipples a little bit, and you're like, "You're okay. You're fine." <laughs> I rolled to see what you touched. <laughs> I could, no, I'm just like, no, uh, sir. <laughs> no, that's the rubbing of the nipples. <laughs> okay. I feel, like, I feel like Vibe should be completely like comfortable with that. That's how they do it in the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. And uh, I have no issues whatsoever. And um, I am not at all uh, jealous. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, uh, the, the uh, bonus action. Did you have a bonus action you want to do? Or are you good? No, I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Avi? Uh, it's a little crowded in there. Uh, actually, you know what? Sorry, if you want to get to, like, right here to, to try and get a shot off to this thing, give me, give me, a, a, an acrobatics check. Tell you why in a minute. Is it, e Is it even a D&D &D game? Ten? Without um, kind of crazy. You're able to get through them all, uh, uh, but all of you uh, uh, that are in the way there, uh, um, Vive, Draven, and Lily, uh, uh, you're both uh, uh, very up close with with Avi as she passes through. Just like, oh, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. Get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> I can't okay. move. Well, I'm coming through. <laughs> you, you try to move through Draven, and he's literally, literally can't get out of your way. <laughs> I wish I could. There's one left, right? Yeah. It is not Fall yet over touched. like a statue. Eldridge blasting this moment. You, uh, as you push through Draven, he kind of <laughs> teeters a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Almost gets knocked over. Do, do, fix that. We can fix that. Just be patient. Uh, so, but yeah, um, go ahead and fire. 21 hit? 21 definitely hits. Okay, let me roll them for my damage. Ooh. Ooh. You ever crack your neck so good, like, you, you just feel blood flow? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> and yes. It's the best when you have like a joint like sublux to some degree, oh, and then you get it to pop just right. And you're like, oh, oh, you mean like this? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> heard that one. I rolled a six. Okay. 
Eh, respectable. It hurt. You, you, you fire off like a piece of, of its bicep. Just and splatters against the wall. Uh, Shane? Unless you got a bonus action, Avi? No, I'm good. Okay. Shane? Uh, you could, you could, you can get a sword swipe in there if you want to try. Don't roll low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh... Especially with Draven being paralyzed, it would be a, it would be a critical hit. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna look at Avi and be like, that looked like a lot of fun. I'm gonna try that too, and I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Fair enough. The fourteen plus six, dirty twenty. Yep, definitely hits. You gotta, That's you gotta a, reach your arm around. Pow! The D ten. Come here, D ten. What are we gonna get today? That's a whole two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you from the other show, from the other bicep. You take like a little, little sliver. <laughs> two just, just a little bit. Um. Uh, Ira. There, unless Shane, are you moving anywhere? Are you staying right there? I'm staying right where. Okay. Ira. Okay. Ira is going to uh. Lift. Do Do I have my trident back? Have been handed it. Sure. Correct. Yeah. Sure. Um, so she's gonna try and hit with the... The uh, bonus you know action, what? Shane shrunk by a foot. <laughs> you sure. know what? I also, I'm gonna reckless attack on this one. Okay. Uh, uh, you're, you're basically, like, climbing over Shane to do this. Uh, I would say it'd be a disadvantage to reckless attack, straight roll. Alright. Because this, this, this is a weird situation. 18? 18 still hits. Even with the plus two to AC. Woohoo! I finally hit something! <laughs> um, so... He's doing it two-handed. So this D8. Uh, that is going to be... Twelve. You just fuck these things, and you more or less blindly just you guys swing. just hear her scream in celestial, and she just like climbing over Shane. this goddamn uh, uh, trident into its head. Just, just uh, straight, straight in the face. Just. Uh, uh, you actually There's pull, you push the show hard, uh, as the Triton stabs through the face, it actually decapitates it. And you pull the Triton back, I've, and the, the I've got a trophy. Is, you, you have the head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't has trophy. A really That's smelly, my... bad, bad, bad trophy. But um, still technically trophy. And touch it. Once I was got it held out. Go for it. <laughs> once that <laughs> all uh, uh, finishes, um, it's about uh, about a minute passes. Um, so your spiritual weapon would fade uh, by this time. Vive. Uh, about a minute passes, and Draven, uh, ever so slowly, you get your fingers back, your arms, head, and you're able to. Got him by a shoulder. Make sure you don't fall over. You're able okay. to, to, okay, to love. take that off. I, uh, yes, I believe so. What does um everybody like? Does everybody look like they are in good health, or um uh, anybody looking exceedingly hurt? I was well, a Ira little... one. Yeah, Ira looks like she's a little hurt, but she's also just over there like. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get as much of the zombie guts off okay. of her. She's like, Ugh. uh, clarification. Does she look a little hurt, or like 
help okay. me. Uh, uh, on a scale of one to she... forty, she looks about a thirty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, then I will. Then I will healing words her. Okay. It was a um, question between healing words and cure wounds, but then enough. I will healing word her. Okay. How much fair am enough. I gaining back? Uh, while you're rolling that, uh, Avi, off to this side here, uh, uh, you see something interesting. Um, there seems to be some Seven. skeletons, okay. uh, against the walls that seem to be, uh, uh Which chained. is perfect, because I'd, I'd as like you see- I'd like to investigate closer. Okay. Sorry. Uh, as you see, okay. Ira, what? Uh, Ira, uh, as she's, like, wiping- the the guts off of her you guys just see her fingers like glow uh with like this frostbitten look and she uh heal healing hands is herself to finish the healing chapter 40. oh yeah because you got three points uh, for that don't you i do just yeah. because i'm an ace of right back to right back to full uh nothing like a good encouraging word from five. Uh, Lily looks okay. She just got uh, boinked once by a tentacle. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> what you a sentence! You gotta be careful of those tentacles because they like to do the boink kick. I believe yeah. that's called a head tie. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen last night's game, Lissa. Uh, anyway, hold on. I'm gonna go beat my best friend. I I'll put it. I'll put it just this the way. tip, <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing IRL PVP. IRL PVP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Avi, as you make your way in here to investigate, this room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the walls. A wide alcove in the south wall contains a where that stars where the stars are. Um, contains a wooden statue covered in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a voluminous black cloak his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds out a smoky gray crystal orb. The room has exits in its north walls, and chanting can be heard uh, uh, from the western walls. Uh, Jay I, moves so right I, on the rest there. of you would also be able to hear uh, at this point, especially you, Ira, standing right there, uh, now that combat is over and your 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 rage subsides, you're able to hear just this low chanting voice uh, or cacophony of voices. Maybe you, you can't even make out what they're saying at this point, but you're hearing it. Um, Does Avi recognize the statue? Uh, give me a wisdom familiar? saving throw, please. Saving throw? Mm -hmm. Just Avi. Okay, because I'm right behind her. Mm -hmm. Shane, uh, uh, you see, you see that crystal gray smoking orb. Uh, I um, surely do. Very pretty. I am eyeballing that. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's something tickles at your brain, but you're not sure. Does anybody recognize what this is? And points at the statue. Um, I will come closer and take a look to see what the hell they are talking about. Uh, I'm right in front of it. About seven feet away. Okay. Uh, uh, none uh, of you can I quite place it. Can I do a history check? Uh, yes, actually. What's my... Can I... Really up to would investigation help? Probably not. Uh, oh, uh, investigate. Two. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 17. 17. My big... Uh, fat plus two. For, for some reason, you're not sure why, Ira, but it's, it's again, kind of like how uh, Avi's feeling. Something's tickling at your brain about the this being... Uh, uh, that is in front of you, um, but you can't quite place it. It's it's almost like a dream that you had six years ago that you kind of remember that you had maybe. I have those dreams. Can uh, I hit the crystal with my hand axe? 
Absolutely. No, you cannot. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this crystal. Okay. I rolled an 11 on my investigation. 11? Uh, uh, staying as far back as you can uh, with trying to look at I'm it. I'm by you, the you, skeleton. You see it. it it's <laughs> it's kind of pretty, but you, you from this distance, you can't really tell anything. Ira walks up and just smacks the thing, and as soon as the axe uh, um, makes uh, uh, contact with it, everyone's vision goes completely black. None of you can see anything. None of you can hear anything. I have devil sight. You are completely blind, even with devil sight. <laughs> it is a very, probably an unnerving feeling for you at this point, because you are not yes. used to this at yeah. all. Does you, it? Um, it's been some time since question. you've been in complete darkness and never seen. Yes, Vive. Uh, does this is this momentary or does it feel like it lingers? A, a, a bit of a linger because Jesus. as as this happens um it's only maybe a few moments this this blackness but you hear something almost as if it's maybe miles away or maybe even right in front of your ear you you it's th at the same time it's very disorienting to hear well then, is this is interesting. Another group so soon. How unexpected, yet not unwelcome. Five? No. Very interesting indeed. Do try and survive this place. For I am now curious. Just then, all of your vision and hearing comes back. You all see the room. You see each other. And the slow droning uh, uh, chant continues. I knew that Hello, the crystal was you do that? Damn it, Ira. She no, she no. Mm. Avi. All blind, and that voice came on. Lily freaked out for a second and reached and probably grabbed, like, Vive's hand without realizing it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Jane Avi. Jane had full flashbacks to the Underdark. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Thank you, sees what she's doing and going, oh, okay. <laughs> Ira just I had flashbacks of to, but I really don't her depression. To. Uh, Ira, you, you see uh, uh, the axe shattered the crystal. Um, it is gone. Uh, Avi, give me another wisdom save, please. Fourteen. Don't give me that look. Oh, no. I want everyone to know, I <laughs> I didn't That's get us killed. Right there. I didn't get us killed this time. Oh, the fun one. <laughs> this time? The sound Maybe next of that time. voice. You cannot pl again. You can't place it. But for some reason, after everyone's visions comes back, Avi's face is just constricted with fear, and there are tears streaming down her face. Ira Avi, goes over you feel to this Avi and, and you have no idea why. She uh, gets down a little bit closer to Avi. How how tall is Avi? Uh, Avi's like uh, six foot. <laughs> okay, so no, she's not going to get down then. Because uh, if Avi is six foot, she's only four inches shorter than mm. Ira. Esri! <laughs> Oh, Jane is also <laughs> Jane is also right next to Avi. Okay. Hand out. What is going on, mate? You don't do that. That's not a thing that you do. Good night, Zabu. Good night, Lucas. Uh, um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it, it is now when everyone starts to notice Avi is shaking visibly 
whole body just absolute fear. I don't. I I don't know. This is not that good. Voice. This is this isn't good. Hey, um just so you know, if you need to like take a second, we can like take a second. We can breathe. No, just try to match your breathing. We go in and we go out, okay? And we go in and we're just going to breathe for a second, okay? That is all we're going to do. I'm okay. Maybe six I'm okay. Yeah. It, it, takes a, it takes a few, but Avi, you're, you're able to... You're, you're okay. You're not sure why that happened, but... You're okay. Yeah, this, like, mm -hmm. visibly, like... Upsetness... You know from traveling with Avi. She is... Very serious. All the time. Does not share her emotions with any of you other than anger and disappointment, mainly at Shane. <laughs> mainly at Shane. <laughs> so to That's see how she this shows kind me love. of to see this kind of emotion is very, very not obby. The only thing in this room that Shane doesn't the only the only face in this room Shane doesn't know is the statue, so he is going to stomp up to it get a good look at the face. All right. Close as he can without touching it. Without now that you're closer, uh, uh, roll an investigation, and, and we'll see how closely you can kind of see this. I just have to stop real quick. That cat has the cutest freaking face. I can't. <laughs> she's not happy I with can't. me because she's in timeout because she pulled a curtain off the wall. Oh, shit. That's what that was? <laughs> that's what that was. I, I've got my curtain rod that I have for TikToks. Uh, up above my door Not and anymore. she decided she wanted to do <laughs> the cat thing <laughs> and pose it <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Fucking you Shane, that this. was impressive as shit. Uh, anyway, Shane, what'd you roll for investigation? <laughs> Sorry. 19 plus 1. Grungy 20. Okay. <laughs> you, you... The, the statue it's, isn't perfect. But you feel you have memorized this face pretty well. Um, whoever's face it is. Uh, there is another doorway down this way you guys haven't been through, by the way. Back away from Facey McFace or something. Before mm. anybody goes through that doorway, I would like to stick my ear up to it and see if that is where chanting is coming from. Okay. Uh, Vive. Um, roll a perception check. I'm not following. I'm just moving right, myself. So that is a 23. 23. Uh, interestingly, uh, you do hear it. Um... But on top of that, you hear something else. Uh, with that high of a roll, uh, honestly, you hear movement on the other side of the door. The door, do, doors. Did we not talk about doors? Okay, so I, I want to go, kind of like gather people a little bit, okay, and go to people, and then um, turn around and go. Okay, so. There is voices and movement and chanting through that door. I don't know what we are doing here. I don't know what the point is. We're getting ready if, to die. If we want to the go through opens. the door, there are... Oh. No, well, fuck. We're <laughs> no, no, it, you don't notice. You're still talking. The door opens behind you. <laughs> okay, if we want to just leave... That this is our moment to just leave. As the door opens, Avi just raises just her like... cross, uh, crossbow. So five, Avi raises her crossbow at you. Just like straight up, high, <laughs> but like. Ah. Shane is pointing at the um, other side. I, as soon as 
as soon as I have a uh, obvious crossbow in my face, I do turn and look and go, well, doors open. Have you been possessed by the house, or are we about to fight now? Because you will lose, but I will feel bad about it. Ooh, Ira just shakes her head and points back behind. Uh, Vive, you now head. notice they're not aiming at you; Vibe. they're aiming no, past you. No, I don't. I don't turn around just yet. I do look oh. them all in the face and go, "We're totally fucked, aren't we?" And then I turn around. <laughs> this turn room around. looks pretty good. Um, this room behind us. Uh, um, over there. Uh, a chandelier is this is suspended above a table in the middle of the room. Two high back chairs flank the table, uh, which has empty clay jug and two clay flagons atop it. Iron candlesticks in two, uh, uh, in two corners. Their candles long since melted away. However, this room looks pretty nice. Um, comparatively to the rest of the dungeon area. Uh, <laughs> Compared to the rest of this place, uh, uh, it looks quite nice. Um, let me actually put everybody in here me. if you want to. As everybody is kind of moving towards the door, mm -hmm. Avi is going to walk up to Shane and put her hand on his shoulder. And very quietly is just going to look at him. And, and in a moment of unforeseen compassion, just say, please. Be careful. I can't have you die. As you say that, you hear <coughs> something move, something fall, maybe something close. You're not sure. Uh, in whatever this room is in here. Jane turns back and says, can't have me die either. Can't imagine a world without me. Fucking Be a little you. quieter. <laughs> There would be less people. Squeeze the shoulder just a little tighter. <laughs> Is anyone going to investigate? Shoot. Yes. I'm going to shoot a crossbow bolt into that table and chairs first. It's everything is Before you hear Ira uh, walks in. No, I'm kidding. Before <laughs> Ira walks in, she's just going to shoot a dirty look at Shane for shoot just wasting ammo. I'm not wasting it. Once those things don't move, I'm going to pluck it out. <laughs> Each bolt. I was um, going to say, I, I pull the shit out of the table and hand it back to Shane. Hmm. You uh, This you room me. contains a large wood-framed bed with a rotted feather mattress, a wardrobe, uh, uh, and a pair of iron candlesticks. There's an open crate that seems to be containing uh, quite a few items inside it. And at the foot of the bed, uh, is a wooden footlocker. Anybody else want to shoot that? Do an investigation on the footlocker. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> it's try and see if there's any trap or anything. Without rolling. Uh, uh, there's. It seems to be unlocked. It doesn't seem to be any traps in there. Uh, opening She's it. She's going to open the footlocker. There's a few items in here. There is a very uh, um, beautiful, well-made uh, uh, black cloak. Um, it gives like a little sheen uh, as as your light. It, you still have light, right? Uh, yes. I figured you're like carrying something lit. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, the the light of kind of gives a sheen to the cloak. Um, uh, and as you're kind of reach down to pull that aside to look what else is in there. The feeling of that cloak, uh, it feels extremely light, yet extraordinarily durable. Um, moving that aside, you see there's a small wooden coffer inside that are uh, four small red uh, uh, vials, uh, potions. Um, there is underneath that a chain shirt, uh, a mess kit, a flask, filled with a green liquid, a bullseye lantern, what seems to be a set of thieves tools, and a book with a yellow leather cover. Um, 
instinctively say Shane no, and then mm. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> um, can I get a vibe check on the book? Uh, the book is Roll not good. Arcana. I hold up my journal. And I tell her books are not good. Uh, it, it is literally leaky, leaking ink. Uh, that's Shane. a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Um, I, I, you you've met some wizards in your time, run into a few. It looks kind of like a spell book, like a wizard spell book. You found the you find the spell book. I found the bleeding journal. Um, taking a quick look inside the crate that's open there. Um, there's also a, a bunch of torches, uh, a leather sack. Uh, Uh, she is going to put all of this uh, in her bag and uh, later on she'll take a closer look at the uh, cloak. Okay. Uh, coming back into here. Uh, um... Oh. Before everything, she does, uh, like, wave the chainmail towards anyone. Does anyone want this? Yes, so. Anyone particularly squishy? I mean, I I could probably use an upgrade, but um, I am not very stealthy to begin with, so if, if it is going to be loud, that is going to be more of a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, Lily? I mean, fair enough. I was just thinking, I don't think chainmail gives you disadvantage, but I wasn't sure. Uh, it does. does. It's considered yeah. medium armor, which does give you disadvantage. Yeah. I know because I had to uh, go in D&D &D Beyond and fix something uh, when DM said, nah, you know what, Mithril, uh, chain, you're good. It, we're going to count it as light armor. Yeah, because of... um, it doesn't, yeah, it does incur disadvantage, and I'm already at no proficiency minus one for stealth. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, yes, it would incur disadvantage on you. Um, uh, but I if, am a bit squishy, so there is also, that. also uh, uh, bring out that little wooden coffer of those potions, um, mm -hmm. most of you would probably recognize that they are four potions of healing. <sighs> I was going to put those on her belt. All four, or are you divvying out sure. at all? Uh, she'll put two on her belt and hand uh, two to whoever wants them. Squishy ones. Which I, I don't know if I ever mentioned uh, uh, health potions are a bonus action in my game. Full action if you're force feeding it to someone, I'm yep. assuming? Yep. Okay. I mean, I'm a healy bitch. I could take some and that way I don't necessarily have to use all my spells to heal. And I could be a uh, possible kill man. Yep. Um... Uh, as you guys we are want to see uh, all taking a look at this, uh, um, Vive, you're standing there, you would notice uh, um, something steps out of maybe a hole in the wall. Um, uh -huh. This sort of uh, black cloaked figure with an extraordinarily long tongue just kind of steps out. Starts walking. Five. Five. I'm Settle going down. to. I'm not going to say shit because every time I've said shit, we get laid. I'm Ooh. going to immediately sacred flame this asshole. Okay. <laughs> we get laid. <laughs> Five. Natural yeah. one. Making... Ooh, Fantastic. We are, we are going to have a conversation about your uh, <laughs> your common. <laughs> when you're done with this. <laughs> Gotta work on your comment what, there, bud. Uh, what is the problem? I am doing great. You try speaking... <laughs> what do I, you try speaking three different languages from two different realms and tell me how your voice works. But, <laughs> that being said, this bastard takes seven points of radiant damage. Damn they, right. They say that as you... <sighs> uh, uh, right towards Ira. <laughs> Ira behind over. you, a bright flash of light. Just fuck! Uh, uh. <laughs> the vibes pronouns are he, him. Uh, oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, 
Hold on. Uh, I, Ira, Clear. just, you see slight singe on, of just, like, the, the hairs that are kind of, like, stray on her hair from, like, her braids on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and she just sighs, pulls the trident <laughs> back, and turns around, and she's like, I'm really getting fucking tired of that shit. Uh, okay, real she quick. She just puts the scrolls away again. Seven points of damage. Um, these things smell way worse. Ripe? Uh, ripe barely describes how horrid these things smell. Uh, in fact, being within five feet of it, um, uh, hold on, let me double check. Come on, roll 20. What do I have to do a check on? Uh, I believe it's a constitution save. Let me double check. Uh, yes. Uh, you're within five feet of it, so you need to make a constitution saving throw. Good thing I'm good at those. Yep. Um, that's going to be a dirty 20. That does succeed. Uh, remember that you are immune to it for the next 24 hours to the smell. Um, luckily, oh, luckily yeah. <laughs> you're already covered in shit. Like, <laughs> gore I'm no blind to it at this so, point. So yeah, it just you're like, eh. <laughs> at this point, you probably Fuck just up. figure it's you. Um, <laughs> uh, but I will take initiatives from everybody. Vive. Every night. I got the three, but I am giving vigilant blessing um, to Avi. Okay, Shane. I got an eighteen on the die. Plus one is nineteen. Nineteen. Good roll. Lily. 18. 18? 13. 13. Abby? I got a 21. Twenty-one. Draven, you got your 16. And Ira. 13. Yes. All right. So we've got two 13s. How are, who has higher decks? Yeah. Lily, what's your dex? Uh, sorry. Didn't realize that was me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. plus three, sixteen. Plus three, seventeen. Okay, so Ooh, I will well, okay. be first. I'm just gonna put you at fourteen just to make sure it doesn't fuck up. Um, so, Avi, you're the first to react after that blast. Uh, kind of looking around the corner. Uh, oh, well, you're within five feet of this, too. I need a constitution saving throw. I don't know if you what you notice first, the flash of light or the stench that just wafts out. <laughs> Eight. Eight. You are poisoned. Oh. Uh give me one moment. Great. Um. Yeah, what, what you are currently poison? poisoned. Like like that's your uh you you have the poison condition, which Train poison. Poison. You have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. For now. Okay. Ouch. So. Well, I'm still gonna fucking Eldritch Blast this mofo. Okay. At disadvantage. I will. <laughs> okay. You hold 15. your action? Okay. 15. Second hit. Damage. Awesome. One sec. Seven damage. Okay. Bonus action? Uh no bonus action. I'm good. Okay. Shane. I pull out the scroll of protection from poison. Okay. And I read it. The poison for, for Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> Cusco protect. You have the deflection of the poison. poison. Uh, that's your action. Uh, you got a bonus no action. Um, what was that? I you do, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to back out to here. 
And All be right. ready to Eldritch Blast. Gotcha. Uh, this thing here, step the forward. The table. I am climbing over the table. Uh, Draven. Fair enough. Draven? Uh, you okay. could get here and be within range of it if you wanted to. Yeah. All right. Uh, constitution saving throw. Um, you said it's based on smell, right? Yes. Well, oh. I've got the the thing. Uh huh. You're fine. Okay. It's easy. And I'm gonna swing. Swing natural <gasps> twenty. Oh. Ooh. Only. Try to do the damage. If it doesn't work, I'll do it. Okay. I'll just roll a dice. Fair enough. Which Oh. Six. Then the one. And then there's plus three. Gotcha. I mean, it looks fucked up. Extremely. And okay. that's my turn. Okay. Ira, you turn around. This thing is standing there. Uh, looking at directly in the face, um, you see it's kind of female-ish. Um, actually, now that you are looking directly at it, directly at the face, it looks familiar. Why does this look familiar? It looks almost exactly like the painting of the family. The, w the mother. You suddenly realize <gasps> you are looking at the face of Elizabeth Durst. What's left of it? Yeah. Uh, uh, that mace kind of like took a ch part of the cheek off. Uh, uh, so it's kind of like hanging there. Alright. Yeah. I would like to fucking rage. Okay. Let's, uh, try to ooh, hopefully fucking hit. All right. Let's see. Be kind, be kind, be kind. Rewind. Uh, there's a 17 hit. Yes. Yay. Another 12. Oh, shit. Uh, you just... Not a lot of room where you're standing. You bring out the, the uh, triton and just go, ah! <coughs> you pull it out of the chin, and it slumps down. Uh, when she pulls it out, she she does this big mic. <laughs> Are you staying right there? Step back a little bit. Okay. As you're doing that, Lily. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Lily, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the table. Lily is going to go ahead and <laughs> climb up on the table. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, she is going to go ahead and transform into her starry form. Okay. Uh, so her entire body goes uh, into this like silhouette and within it you can see basically like constellations and galaxies uh, within her own body. Uh, she does shed bright light for 10 feet and dim light for an, uh, another 10. Uh, and she's p picking the constellation of the archer. Okay. Which allows me to basically um. shoot out no, I'm sorry. I just would like to say that Five would like to use his reaction uh, to <laughs> stare at the absolutely beautiful lady. I'll allow. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, 
Basically, she takes a shooting stance without a bow, but she's able to create and launch uh, an arrow of radiant. You, uh, you hold your hands out kind of like this, mm -hmm. and, and as you move your hand this way, a, a, an arc comes, up, an arc of light, this white starry light, and it continues down and completes a full bow, and you draw your hand this way, drawing an arrow. Uh, as you do, you look at the face of this creature, the face of Gustav Durst. Send him back where he belongs. This is a mercy. <laughs> uh, 19 to hit. Definitely hits. 12 radiant damage. Holy shit! Radiant? Oh god. Radiant. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. The arrow flies, hitting it uh, uh, kind of in the lower uh, like sternum. It, it, it almost burns away much of his chest. The the robe, the tattered robe he was wearing just almost disintegrates. You hear this <sighs> and it looks directly That's at you. That's not disturbing at all. Uh, Thank you. I will, I will go ahead and get off the table just for safety's sake. <laughs> Death. Um, uh, that will end my turn. Vive? In lane. Uh, make a um, wisdom saving throw. What? Vive, make Jane a wisdom saving throw. Vive and says, I'm, I'm rolling, it is rolling. Oh, it's 24, my guy. 24? Don't with the cleric. Uh, uh, oh. as, as, the, as Lily steps down, you're like, oh, okay, back in, back into battle. Okay, we're good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I was going to say, uh, I was really having a moment where I'm like, hot damn, and then also, she was on the table, every... so like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ching, Ching, Ching leaned over uh, and, and was like, I am a, uh, I am a short king at five foot nothing, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, so it took like, me like, it takes me just I... like, um, Half a second to get back to myself because <laughs> hot. I'm regretting all of my life decisions um, <laughs> because hot fucking damn. But um, I'm then going to take out my crossbow and attempt to shoot this other thing. All right, fire Boink away. Boink it, love. <laughs> Boink away. Seems like I, I get it. Mate. Um, I this is a it. seventeen to hit. Definitely hits. <laughs> uh, and that is seven points of damage. Uh, with the said crossbow. Um. I, uh, I would like to then spend uh, my bonus action uh, regretting every life decision that made her leave me. And uh, that is my turn. At the end of your turn, the being falls. An existential crisis is a free action? Absolutely. <laughs> um, but you gotta understand all that went into it, all the buildup. It takes some time to process on the sense. He has a lot of mistakes to think about. <laughs> you I, I feel like Vive Look, and Ira up, are going to be guy. great drinking buddies now. <laughs> you all now hear the chanting get much louder. Still just barely uh, uh, um, indistinguishable for the words. But Shane, uh, to the north of you there. That doorway is where it's emanating. We don't know. Okay, following down. You actually see the bodies uh, uh, of the uh, other cultists uh, and realize we came it around. went around. It's now coming from down these stairs here. Um. Is I I'm pretty well sobered up. I'm assuming I'm not just imagining those sounds. No. Uh, in fact, oh, as I said you, that to them. Uh, get closer. Uh, the rest of the party here 
uh, you all start hearing the voices. Uh, Shane, you're heading down that set of stairs. They're coming from this way. Um, making your way down uh, the entire party. If you're all following down. Uh, and this is closer to the voices, yeah? Yes. The drunk leading the drunk leading the, the blind again. I will follow the drunk. As you should. As Shame. you always should. Oh, roll twenty's being weird. Give me a moment. Just so Vive knows my starry form lasts for ten minutes, so it's still there. Mm-hmm. Oh, before we left that room, I just leaned over to Vive and I was like, I get it now, love. I get it. <laughs> um, no, there's so much. <laughs> you know, there's so much. It's, 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 it will, next time we have time to stop and talk, we we drink, we talk. We talk, Is we, it? yeah, good. Yes. I will, yes, we will nip from the flask together. Um, Good. Uh, I need to. We need to get the fuck out of here. So, however that happens. Yes. Yes. Well, we've still got a spiritual weapon and a bless. Everyone knows. What? For the scrolls that he has. He's got two spell scrolls. Oh, for your scrolls. I was like, I still have a spiritual weapon, but I did not bring bless today. <laughs> I got very confused. Um, following down the staircase you eventually find yourselves uh, in in a lower part it's cold down here and the ghostly chant emanating is now audible enough that you hear voices many many voices he is the ancient he is the land he is the ancient. He is the land. The chant continues as you see in this lower area uh, small alcoves filled with items, relics, you're not sure. There's a small mummified yellow hand with sharp claws uh, on a loop of rope. A knife carved from a bone. A dagger with a rat's head skull onto the pommel. An eight-inch diameter varnished orb made from a what seems to be an eye, a large eye. An aspiragum carved from Black a bone. that you? A folded cloak that seems to be stitched together by ghoul skin. A desiccated frog lashed to a stick. A bag full of bat guano. A hag's severed mm. finger. A six inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy, its arms crossed over its chest. Iron pendant adorned with a devilish face. The shrunken head shriveled, uh, the shrunken shriveled head of a halfling. And a wooden coffer that seems to contain a wolf's, a large wolf's tooth. Um. um mm -hmm. I would like to turn to the group and go, um, I feel like touching this will either make the Uga Chaka louder <laughs> or like <laughs> you just should leave it. Um want all of it and I'll take none of it. Uh Shane, looking down this way, there's a slight slope to like a, mm. kind of a, a, a portcullis that's down. Um well, that I recognize. Mm -hmm. Lily looking down this way, especially with your brightness, your bright self lighting the way um, <laughs> down this way. Uh, there seems to be a prison where there are uh, shackles on all of the doors. However, at the very end of this hall, there is uh, a skeleton hanging there with a tattered black robe. What are the black robes? It's a dungeon dungeon. Do you go check out the skeleton? Uh, hesitantly. <laughs> okay. Never wearing fuchsia robes. Okay. <laughs> Cerulean. Um, Dark. Okay. 
kind of heavy behind her ear. Um, okay. There is nothing remarkable about it. However, there is a small gold ring on one of its fingers. I tell, uh, based on the hits, if the skeleton's male or female. Mm, it is male, yes. Oof. Um, actually, give me a, a, um, a perception check. While they do that, uh, is Avi still poisoned? Uh, no, it only lasted one minute. Okay, I'm just making what? sure. I cured it. Cured it with friendship. Uh, it I cured it with the protection okay. of protection from poison. Uh, um, looking at it and looking at the way the robes tattered, uh, it seems this might have been one of the other cultists. Or maybe this cultist upset the others. As you turn to walk back to the group, you notice right in this cell there's a uh, the chanting is for some reason just a little bit louder here uh, taking a look there uh, looking at the wall it kind of uh, uh, gives way and it, it's a door small but you can fit through uh, I immediately step back and I saw Vive was killing me. I mm. kind of gestured to the dungeon and go, uh, not the door. Mm. <laughs> I missed what you said. Can you say that word? Or can you say the, the door? Door. <laughs> Found the door. <laughs> I'm just standing in water right now. Do we... Yeah, you're, you're kind of like a, a ankle deep in water looking through the port class. You see inside there um, seems to be a ritual chamber uh, 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 flooded uh, almost completely where there is a raised dais with an altar on there. Um, give me a perception check, Shane. Oh. 17 on the die plus another grungy 20. You see, it does seem to be dried blood on that altar. Also I'm in the sure. corner here, there is a giant, just, just pile of refuse. Mm. Can we steer clear of the refuse, everyone? <laughs> we have not had good um, luck with refuse. Lily, are you going through the door? Not without telling the party. <laughs> no, the party the <laughs> most of the party is with you. Uh, um, okay. I'd say, I mean, uh, this place echoes pretty good. Draven and Shane would be able to hear you. Actually, you're, okay. you're next to the door. They would also hear you through there. So, uh, okay. Especially with that roll. Shane, you would see the little door open right there. <laughs> I go through the door. <laughs> I'm uh, going to follow her. She is not going into death alone. Okay. And I'm gonna yell out, hey guys! Bye. Avi, uh, look, going through. <laughs> yes, the... I'm heading where, wherever gotcha. Shane goes. That would gotcha. Uh, Ira, it, it's a squeeze. It's a squeeze. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you, with with a little help, you are able to get there. Uh, it's, it's and the I hold shoulders. the bars. Yeah, it's the shoulders. I'm at the poor colors. I'm like, are you guys in jail, or are we? Um, as you say this, Shane, uh, and the party kind of, you know, gathers in there, the chanting stops as you peer into this 40-foot square room. The smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling and a breach in the west wall leads to the dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to dry stone ledges that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle 
from the ceiling directly above the stone, uh, the stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. So are you in prison or are we? What do you mean prison? Do I see a way to open the portcullis for them? Mm, there is We're a, standing um, on it. There is a... Words. Turning wheel thing. That mm. you assume opens the door. Um, I will what, go over what here and try to open it. Okay. As you step into the water there, um, it's, it's about mid-shin. Um... Where you're at. I would probably just subconsciously, um, or uh, yeah, subconsciously use shape water just to get the water out of the way. Okay. Easy enough. Especially for you. Um, as you step down there uh, and the water moves, you see all the ripples in the water completely stop. Figures pop up all around. Almost see-through figures in dark robes. Uh, Avi, uh, Ira, and Vive, you, you all kind of realize you're kind of standing inside these figures a little bit uh, um, here and there, uh, stepping to the side. They don't seem to notice you, and when you look into the faces, you just see two little white lights. I have Chanting prepped. rises once more as 13 <laughs> dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one resembling a black robe figured, holding a torch, but the torch's fire is black and seems to, instead of giving off light, draw light into it. Where you would expect to be see the faces, you see just voids. One must die, they chant, over and over. One must die die and that's where we'll end this episode fuck <laughs> ah. <laughs> what the fuck I'm gonna I'm no. drop that movie I'm gonna kill every fucking one of them and it'll be fine yeah <laughs> they said one must die they didn't specify yeah. it had to be us it could be them <laughs> yeah. absolutely sure that'll totally uh, did work. we open the portcullis uh, Lily got like, like my into hands the water. on it. I'm like, you're, you're, you basically got to your hands on it, and this happened. Uh, awesome. Probably um, my first action will be open. <laughs> uh, real quick, it, it, I'll remind everyone that everything that was donated tonight, which there was uh, uh, a bit, uh, I will be donating to the GoFundMe. The link is also there right now, so if you're able to give, uh, please do so. Uh, also. Uh, I remember to do it. Lisa, uh, um, hey. we'll go through one by one, uh, for everyone to kind of say, uh, uh, where they can be found, uh, your TikTok handle, uh, whatnot. I always suggest me last, so. Fair enough. Whoever um, wants to go first. Uh, well, we'll <laughs> just kind of go by the, by the, uh, words and things. Meg, go first. Jesus Order Christ. of operations. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Meg Monster on TikToks, which is at Megwins, and it's M-E-G-Q-U-I-N-S, because somebody got there first. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Kill Meg. Uh, next up, we'll do Nimue. Hi, I am M. Uh, I am Nimue of Avalon. Uh, I'm posting it in the chat because my name's kind of hard to spell sometimes. So, yeah, you can find me there. And we have Cap. I am am Cap. <laughs> <laughs> I am at, uh, I am on TikTok. Cap without a country. We are Legion. I am, yes, Cap without a country on TikTok. Uh, next up, Nerdy. Okay, uh, I am Nerdy Teacher on both TikTok and Instagram. Um, the E in Nerdy is a three. It's just like anyone else. Someone got there first. 
Uh, I <laughs> also have an Etsy store called Oh Crit, and I sell D&D stickers, so if you like that. <laughs> D&D stickers are beautiful and amazing, and you should get them. <laughs> um, Genma? I am Flooded Basement 86 on TikTok. All right. And last but not least, we have Lisa. All right. So I do a bunch of things. But first off, <laughs> there is a link tree. Um, however, uh, so Mondays, you can find me at 8 p.m. Eastern Time over on twitch.tv slash nerdworksmedia playing Bros and Dragons. That is also a podcast you can find on Spotify. Tuesdays, first you find me over on the Dead Bard Society's Twitch channel playing Wintermere Falls. Then you, and that starts at 1 p.m. And then, obviously, here. Mm-hmm. Wednesdays, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash shortbeard the bard playing in a Mask the New Generation campaign. Thursdays, for the time being, uh, I'm just playing over on my Twitch channel, which is the same username. Um, it's Geek Girl Lissa. Um, I don't know when Two Geek Girls is coming back, but when that does happen, uh, we're over on YouTube, on the Aries Studios YouTube channel. Um, that's also something I do on Saturdays. I produce streams over on there um, as their producer. Um, Fridays, every other Friday, you can find me on twitch.tv slash dagshow. It's D-A-A-G show for dinner and a game. For the Firefly actual play, Crossing the Veil, that <laughs> I am on. Then Sundays, you can find me on my channel. Um, and the off Fridays, I also stream on my channel. And sometimes I'll do streams during the day. Uh, and with that, oh. we're going to... Oh, oh, my God. And every every place with buttons, Geek Girl Lissa. Same username. Easy yeah. to you find me. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and raid Hello Operator. I did double check. He is live. Whoop, and whoop. Uh, he's a buddy of mine, so go show him some love. Um, he's playing Monster Hunter World, and he looks very stressed but... about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to uh, enjoy watching that. So, everybody wave awkwardly. Okay, bye. Good uh, night, everybody. Uh, for the next three seconds while I wait for its load. And now we raid. Have a great night, guys. Bye. <laughs> night, everybody.